The APRC2 has tracked the injuries and deaths federal regulators say were caused by Takata airbags. And over the years, dealerships across the country replaced the airbags as part of a massive recall. Tonight, KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold shows us a lawsuit involving one of these recalled airbags, a Houston area dealership, and the permanent damage done in one young woman's life. Do you remember much about the accident? Uh, yes and no. Remembering the moment of impact may be murky. There was a bright um, flash and then just looking down and uh, seeing blood. But the impact on Sarah Morgan's life is clear. Still getting used to depth perception, um, blind spots. <laughs> she lost her left eye, sustained hearing damage, and severe injuries to her face. It's very scary to think of because the thing that's supposed to be protecting you is doing the opposite. Morgan was a passenger in this Mustang when it crashed with a pickup truck in June of 2020. Her then boyfriend, Branson Roy, was driving. The impact wasn't severe, but enough to deploy the driver and passenger side airbags. You can see the sharp bits of metal that went flying through the passenger side of the car and the points of impact on the headrest. I couldn't hear anything. Everything went white. What Morgan didn't know was the passenger side airbag was a Takata airbag. And according to this lawsuit, it should have been replaced nearly two years before the accident. So we have evidence of what I call a systems failure. Houston attorney Rob Ammons represents Morgan. She is suing, among others, the Yaklin Ford dealership in Brazoria County. They replaced the driver bag, but not the passenger bag. Let's step back a minute. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reports 67 million Takata airbags have been recalled because they have the potential of exploding when deployed, sending shrapnel into the faces of drivers and passengers. Ammons has conducted tests at his evidence yard to demonstrate an exploding airbag. This is his video. In this artist rendering was filed by Ammons as part of this lawsuit. Airbags are supposed to save lives, not ruin them. According to Ammons, this record shows Ford contacted the owner of the Mustang to let them know about the driver and passenger side airbag recalls known as 16S26 and 15S21. Ammons says that record also shows Ford notified the dealership about the recalls and an appointment for the work was set. Our job is to get the vehicle there. It's their job to make sure the recall work gets done. Records filed as part of this lawsuit also show Yaklin ran the Mustang's vehicle identification number through Ford's database multiple times, and it showed the recalls were open. Yet, Ammon says invoices presented during depositions show only the driver's side airbag was replaced. Have you gotten an explanation as to what happened there? Uh, other than we admit we made a mistake, there has been no explanation. I was very confused because I was wearing my seatbelt. After the accident, Morgan had to move back in with her family. I wouldn't have been able to take care of myself the way I needed to. You've lost some of your independence. Yes, that's a good, yes. <laughs> Nobody wants to be 21 and, you know, have the difficulties that I'm having to face now. This case has not yet been scheduled for trial. An attorney for Yaklin Ford did send us a statement reading in part their thoughts and prayers go out to Morgan and her family for her recovery and that safety is their foremost concern. They also add in the pending litigation, we are confident that the proper parties will be held accountable. You can read the full statement on click2houston.com. Robert Arnold, KPRC2 News.